this morning we're crossing an item off our Kansas City bucket list. We are going to Crown Center and we're going to enjoy Kaleidoscope, which is an art studio, and we're going to a play at the Children's Theater. We're big fans of Hallmark, they're a Kansas City company, and here in Kansas City they have an art studio, it's called Kaleidoscope, and they do free art sessions where you come in and you get to spend 45, 50 minutes just playing, just painting and coloring in all sorts of creative ways as a family. We've been here lots of times as the kids have been growing up, and it's time to come again because Janae doesn't remember it. So when we're in situations like this, we often do the buddy system. Isaac is with Laura, Elise is with Caleb, and Mommy's with Janae, and Daddy is watching everybody. What is this? Hey, guys. It's a party! I'm ready for the puzzle machine. Nice, should we dry your paint? There's a paint dryer, did you see it? It's over here. So you put your picture in here and it dries it off so we can make it into a puzzle. There we go. Then it comes out the other side. Come here, Nate. It's really hot in there. Really? Yeah, that's how it's drying off the paint. This is a sunset, mine's just happy. You guys gonna turn it into a puzzle? It goes in one side and you crank the wheel. Puzzle exits here. You made your own puzzle. Janae told me that she wrote her name. <gasps> Did you turn on music? So you have these cool play places with all these buttons. Janae, come get these ones. Somebody's having fun. She's really loving these play areas. That was loud. We just found a whole pile of ribbons. Which one do you want to use? Yeah, we're gonna have to clean those up. It's glowing. Your shirt is glowing. You wore just the right outfit today. See the glow in the dark room? Now Laura's painting with this laser on the wall. A heart. I love it. So here they paint with melted crayons. How cool is that? This is a picture taking contraption. It's got lots of levers and knobs. So 50 years ago, Hallmark set Kaleidoscope up as a free arts and crafts place for anyone in the community. We just love when good businesses are doing good things for their community. It's like a really creative and cool way to give back. They make washing your hands fun too. <laughs> I decided I would make a crown as well. I love that everyone gets in on the art. These are kids safe scissors. She's loving life. Do you wanna paint in the dark? All right, here we go, we're leaving. Did you guys have fun? Yeah, yeah. So I'm taking all this stuff back to the van as we move on to our next activity. It's just not worth it to carry everything around all day. Kaleidoscope is always fun. Jeremy ran our bags of stuff to the car and we are headed to the theater. I've always wanted to go to Cottery Theater. I don't know if that's how you pronounce that, but I've always wanted to go. It's a children's theater down here. Over there's the ice skating rink. And there's the water show. We're here to see the play, We Are In The Play, which is by Mo Willems, one of our favorite children's authors. Why did you say we are in the play? That's the name of the play, We Are In A Play. Are we gonna be in the play? I don't think so, I think we're gonna watch them be in a play. But it's gonna be pretty interactive. That's how it will end, me sharing my treat and helping my friends. Well that play was super fun. 
fun and interactive. I loved watching the kids' faces as they watched. That's my friend. Clifford, the big red dog. You recognize him, huh? Yeah. Is it a big red dog? You have been so much fun. She's excited. So did you like the play? What was your favorite part? Yeah. There's an audience. When they were surprised there was an audience? Yeah. So we're headed out and I said, Janae, let's go. And she said, no, don't want go. Stay here. So apparently she's having a good time. I told her we're going to lunch and that made her happier. Did you guys save the elevator? Yeah. Good Blue job. button. Hey. There you go. Well, we've been eating out a lot more lately because there's so many favorite places here in Kansas City that we need to try before we leave. So today, after the Crown Center, we are headed to Chez El Crepery where they do gluten-free crepes and they are delicious. I love crepes. This place has gluten-free crepes. Yeah. These two are playing, what game is this? Apples to apples. Apples to apples while we wait. Janae is coloring. I just got a baseball game. Which one's more absurd? Earwigs or burn tips? Earwigs. Yeah. It's so cool. This is so good. So when we go out to eat, one of the things that I've been starting to do more and more is look at the menu beforehand and just decide what we're all ordering. There's just so many of us, and to help each kid work through what they want and what their preferences are, even to just make my own decision, it helps so much if I go into the restaurant knowing what we're ordering. And with everything being online, it's not hard to do that. Also, when we eat out, we try really hard to eat at places that are kid-friendly. I love that this place has games and coloring books. It gives the kids something to do while they wait. This one's a pesto with marinara sauce on it. This one's a Philly cheesesteak. We ordered two sweet crepes to split for dessert. One has coconut cream, almond brittle, and tropical fruit on it. The other one has berries and whipped cream and raspberry sauce. Which one's your favorite? That one. This one's calling my name. We are home and Janae is down for her nap. And I'm so tired. Family adventures like that are so much fun, but I seriously come home so tired. It is quiet time and all the kids are reading. We spent our afternoon running errands and working hard. I'm still working on the kids' clothes, like their growing boxes. It's a lot of work, it's a big job. Anyway, we get to go on a date night tonight. We are going to the library because it's my happy place. Kendra was devastated thinking it would be closed, but it's open an hour longer than she thought. She, I know. Like did a cartwheel. It's just a nice quiet place where we can talk and look at books and then we'll probably get food. Even without our kids, we end up in the children's section. I've always ended up here. Before we had kids, we ended up here too. I'm looking for some of the Mo Willems book to show Jeremy from that play we went to today. Remember the pigeon that mm -hmm. was in the show today? Yep. Jeremy didn't get all the inside jokes of the show today, so I'm showing him. We made it to the big kid books. The Travel Atlas. This really is just a picture book though, right? <laughs> That's true. Look, it's maps. Now we know where Isaac gets it from. Standing as far from the web as he could, he cut the wasp free. Then he quickly backed away and kept on backing. The free yellow jacket followed him, circling again and again above his head. Dominic, watching his strange movements, saw him swoop, dip, and spell out the words, thank you. Can you guys hear me? Yeah. Janae's reading too, can you hear her? <laughs> You're reading? Say J House out. No, I want to go back. You don't want to go to bed? She doesn't want to go to bed. She doesn't want to say Jay House out because she doesn't want to go to bed. Should mommy say good night? No. No one say good night. Good night. Jay House out. No, love you. Why can I end this time? I think you're a little slap happy. 